Hello all, how are we doing today? I'm Mac, the iCloud helper, and today I'm doing a video on removing remote management. Now, it's, um, it's an encryption given by like businesses and, um, you know, health organizations and, and stuff like that, which is encrypted in their devices, basically. And this is the furthest you can get to, you know, username, password, obviously you don't know it, you can't get into it. And what I'm gonna to do today is perform a bypass to remove the remote management from the device. Now today I'm using an iPod Touch um, sixth generation. And as you can see, no matter what I do, it goes to there. Yeah, no way through it. Don't know the username, don't know the password. Uh, bought it on eBay. But I'm about to show you how to remove it. Um, by using a untethered bypass, okay? So, without further ado, <clears throat> on your Mac, you wanna sign in to, you, first of all, I'd like to give a big shout out to the man who made this happen, and that is AppleTech752. Please go on his website, you will see so many things on there of, um, uh, iCloud bypasses, um, uh, remote management removals, um, uh, bypasses and removals of, um, you know, to make phone calls tethered and tethered otherwise, so to speak. So that man deserves a big thumbs up um, for making this happen. So today the program we're going to be using is sliver uh the version i'm using is version 5.2 now what i'm doing on remote management today um i believe this one can only be done on mac but if you go on his website you'll find that most if not all of them can be used on Windows as well. But the one I'm doing today um, can only be done through Mac. So, without further ado, I would like to jump right in. So, first thing we do, you download this link from the man's website, double click, let it open up, and there you've got it there, slither. Okay, now you might want to read the text there um, of actually how to um, do it, but I'll be, I'll be showing you in this video anyway of how to do it. Okay, so what we're going to do is downloaded Sliver and going to go into my new window applications because once you've downloaded that you want to drop this into the applications okay so select it drop it into the applications it's in the applications next thing you want to do is go on to terminal so you can go by here and search for terminal there he is at the top <coughs> and on terminal you want to write this i don't know if you can see it probably yeah you can just about see that so you want to write c h m o d space uh, 
and then you want to do hyphen with a capital R space seven five five space okay now now that that bit's been done what we're going to do is we're going to find sliver on here select it select sliver we're going to show package contents select the arrow next to the contents and then resources we select resources and simply drag the resources folder in here and then once that's in there hit enter then we're good to go right close that close that and close this now what we want to do is go into our launch pad where sliver will await us and we want to open up sliver do, 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 do. open and there it is um amazing actually um you can even he's even decorated it so well you could have it in dark mode light mode whatever of you're choosing different bypasses here you go into more options and on this one this specific one what we need is the mdm bypass now we've got this open i'm going to go into launch pad and I am going to open check rain. Now, as you can see, uh, welcome to check rain iPod touch sixth generation running on iOS 12.4.8 connected in normal mode. Now, before you download check rain, whatever operating system you are using, be sure to go on check rain's website to find out which one is compatible with yours and then do the download when you open this dark chain is always ticked if for some reason it's not do tick it and in this case we're going to allow untested ios ipad operating systems tv blah 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 i'm gonna go back and gonna hit start and now i click next and my iPod Touch 6th generation will boot up into recovery mode. Now we're in recovery mode. What we need to do is put it into DFU mode. So I'm going to do that now by clicking start, holding down the buttons and do exactly as it says, step one, two, and three. There we go. Device successfully entered into DFU mode. Now it's doing a boot in. If you look at this here now, there we go. The jailbreak is running its pawned transcript, so to speak. Booting up. Do, 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 do. Almost done. Okay, so as you can see, that's been done. So we can click done there, and we can close check rain because we've already performed the jailbreak, okay? Um, so next step, folks, what we wanna do, select this once, relay device info, and as you can see, uh, SSH is set up and ready to use. So now I'm gonna select got it, and then select bypass MDM. And what it's gonna do 
it's going to keep respringing my device a couple of times. Oh, look at that, I've done it straight away. And as you can see, MDM bypass done, thanks to IFPDZ. Um, so I can connect, uh, disconnect my iPod Touch now, uh, just so you can see. Hit the home button, go through the setup. It's like next, continue. Oh, and there we go, brothers and sisters, friends, families. There it is, you know. Don't transfer apps and data, passcode options, don't use passcode, don't use passcode. Uh, yeah, just go up there, just go through it now, uh, the, the setup. Um, and there we are, there we are. Now, as you can see, check rings on there and we're in. Um, what I'm gonna do quickly is power off the device to show you that it's completely untethered. Because if it was a tethered device, when I power it back on now, the lock would come straight back. So I'm gonna power it on, it's not connected to nothing, power it on, and there will be no lock on there. It'll be gone. And there we have it. Done and dusted. Uh, I'm going to settings just to show you the uh, make a model. Um, so about, so yeah, iPod Touch sixth generation running iOS version 12.4.8. Um, yeah. And obviously, you know, you sign into your iCloud there, no problem. And uh, yeah, open up the page. And yes, it's, um, it's all done for you there, folks, and then you're good to go. Um, any questions, um, please drop them in the comment section below of the video, and I will be more than happy to help you with this um, untethered bypass. Okay, folks, this is Mark, the iCloud helper, coming to you from Cardiff City. Bye for now.